How are we doing, folks? Welcome back to year two of the Appalachian State Dynasty. We're going to jump right into it. Last year was a great season. We ended up going eight and five, winning the Gasparilla Bowl in the last game of the season against Southern Miss, setting us up for hopefully uh, continued success this year. Uh, last year was definitely a grind. We lost some close games, had some ESPN classics that were a lot of fun to watch, uh, with a lot of me raging with uh, wide receivers dropping the ball. Uh, but hopefully, Hopefully this year uh, we will be able to kind of step on the successes of the past and carry on for a good season. This video is going to be a little bit less edited than the other ones, but I hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. This will be the first game of the season against UAB as well as some of the recruiting and like preseason stuff as well. Um, but I look forward to sharing the story of this Appalachian State Dynasty with you guys and hope you enjoy it. Cool, we've got some preseason All-Conference and preseason All-Americans. I'm going to go take a look at that um let's see so the preseason polls we'll see if we're ranked at all no not even a little bit let's see where we're ranked if we're in 66 okay our defense is a b minus offense c plus defense b minus and special teams d why is our special team so bad i don't think we may not have a punter or maybe our punter is just really bad. Anyways, we have a 79 overall, 77 overall offense, and an 82 overall defense. The top 10 uh, teams are going to be Michigan, LSU, Ohio State, Alabama, Georgia, Oklahoma, Washington, Oregon State, North Carolina, and Florida State. It's kind of par for the course here. Looks like the best teams are just the best teams. The ones that are typically in, in and around the running. Conference outlook. Last year, I think we came in fourth in or third in the conference. Um, hopefully this year we can beat out Cincinnati, Houston, and SMU. Right now, I think it's, I thought it was going to be uh, alphabetical, but it's not. UCF looked to top the leaders division. Uh, we beat them last year. Um, I think, oh man, seventh in the conference overall. I think we can do a little bit better than the projections, but we are going to have to see. We are definitely not the best team in the conference by caliber or by talent, but I think we can, we can beat these guys. In the Heisman runnings, we have Henry Paris Jr., the senior running back out of Miami, leading the polls at the beginning. R.J. Harvey, who is actually within our conference at UCF, the 5'9", 206-pound running back from Edgewater, Florida. Kavorian Barnes from UTSA. Dang, these, these are crazy. Nate Carter uh, out of Michigan State, halfback. And then Ash Ashton GT, the speedy tailback, 5'9", 208-pound running back from Jacksonville, Florida. 99 overall rated running back. All right, let's check the, we had an All-American. I'm guessing it's our, hold up. Let me go to, I didn't. So first team, All-American. Cool, Jordan Favors, our strong safety returning junior. Uh, his first team, All-American. And then let's check out the All-American Conference. Tight end, Eli Wilson. As an all conference, Sean Collins, our starting left end. We've got Ethan Johnson, one of our starting cornerbacks. Jordan Favors, the starting um, starting strong safety. And then I think we have, yeah, Caden Robinson as one of our wide receivers, um, 86 overall. I think, I think we've got a good team, you know, better than last year. Obviously, the other teams definitely built around. Hopefully, we can build some of our recruiting class and just kind of get back up to speed and try and win a national championship here in this dynasty. All right, so let's go to not scout it. I definitely added a lot of different types of people to the what did we need? Strong safety, halfback, and a kicker. 
I mean, as much as I can, I'm going to try and upgrade, like, all of our players because our players are not great. Um, but, yeah, anything we can do to upgrade our team would be nice. I mean, this guy kind of looks like a quarterback. Yeah, he's, he's a quarterback-looking player. All right, so let's go through... Let's take a look at the ones who have the highest, uh, the highest bonus points. This guy, oh, obviously that guy. So I'm gonna, obviously some of these dudes are better than our abilities. Um, oh, dude, that guy's awesome, Dave Young. Dang, that guy's really good. Think I got all of them scouted? I did. Bro, 92 speed. Holy cow. He can catch too. Release. Let's see. Dang, this guy's really good. I would love to get some of these dudes. Do I have him scouted? He's all right. Decent route running. He'd be a good, like, I don't know, not really even a deep threat because he's not that great. I just, I don't think I'm getting any of these players, the ones that I created. Let's see his... Uh, damn. He's scouted. He's not great. God, these... <sighs> Ooh, get off my board. Gross. Okay. Always love a good defensive end. Lewis Brown. Big time bonuses from him. All right, so we're going to offer him. Super fast. He's a power guy. Can shed blocks and get through the line, it looks like. Would be a great addition to the team. Um, I'm still going to offer both of these guys. Um, but... I would love to, obviously, offering scholarships too early, I don't think it really affects anything. There's better times that you can do stuff, but I just kind of like getting it out of the way so they know what they're dealing with. I mean, I'm going to offer both of these guys. Um, Kevin Macklin out of Augusta, Georgia, South Carolina. Some of these dudes are in our pipeline, um, but we definitely need some work. Cool, this guy looks about as good as he is. He looks like a coverage. Yep, he's a coverage linebacker. He's okay. Juco guy. Offer to him. I'm not going to offer Brock Houston. He doesn't look great. All right, and then we got Ben Jett with 170 points. He is a gym prospect out of Baltimore, Maryland, and he's a coverage. Um, I'd rather be a hard-hitting... Um... Dude, this guy's crazy good. I'd rather be a hard-hitting cornerback, but it would be fun to pick him up. Um, looking at some strong safeties here. I believe I scouted most of them. He's okay. He scouted. Okay. So. Playing time. Some of these. Andy Newton, you're not going to see much of the field. Um,
it's crazy like how bad some of these team how some of these like recruits are this year there's really not a lot of great recruits if i remember correctly this guy would be like a quarterback this guy could be a quarterback but also a wide receiver and then this guy kind of really just a quarterback but i'm okay with that Okay, so we are going to do and then filter by damn good. Um, this guy. I really hope I get some of these dang recruits. For real. Strong safety. What are these running backs? All right, let me see which of these I think I would prefer. Who has the highest bonus? 235. Okay, so he is more realistic. He's in my pipeline. God, he is fast. He's also fast. I kind of like Jonathan Arnold better. Mm-mm. Really need a running back. And this guy, he's Juco. He's fast as shit, too. Dang, I keep running away from that. Um, Strong safety. I'm not going to give him 500. I will leave him there. Um... Kind of move him up the board. Give him... You actually get a pretty good bonus there, so I'll give him 100 points. Um, bring you up the board a little bit. Jonathan Arnold. We like him. Dave Young. I doubt he's going to come to us, but, you know, you never, you never know what's going to happen there. Um... He's actually getting a couple points there. I'm going to put like 200 on him. He actually might be a good pickup. The outside linebacker, Justin Huff there. Give him like 100. I have 900 more points. Eric Rutledge, he might be a decent uh, pick up there on offensive line. Let's give him 100 points. Just kind of see where we sit at the end of these. Sure, I'll get a punter. And we'll give him 100 points. And we'll give him 85. Uh, whatever, we'll give him 100 points. <clears throat> we love a good... Is he Juco? No, he's just good. Okay. So I'm going to give him 500 because he seems really good. And I could potentially move him over to strong safety. Um, Kenny Johnson, I'm going to move up the board. Give him like... So him, I'm going to take away like 250 from him. And then try and find one of these strong safeties that I had down the board. Uh, they're both kind of at 95, 185. Move you up the board. If I get you, I get you. I'm not. All right, so we will do Kenny Johnson up at 350. Alex Ryan at 350. Boom. I am happy with that. Actually, because I've got some really good center back. Sorry, center backs. Ha, huh, cornerbacks. I'm actually going to go after this defensive end. Okay, that is it for now for recruiting. Um, that's not true. I've got a couple more players I can uh, add to the board. 
um, from this. I'm going to go into interest here. Um, see if we have any new folks interested in us that are like worth looking at. Sixty-five, don't love that. Sixty-four, seventy-one, punter though. Let's see if we get like two more folks that are like interested in us here. Oh, Seventy-five. Oh, those are on our board already. So the rest is just like people. Um, I mean. We could go crazy and go for some like just recruits because we want to. Anyone who's like not got top ten. Crazy. Potentially scrambler. I've got two spots. I mean, I'm gonna go for him and I'm gonna go for this guy. Let's take a look at them. Fast. So he's a quarterback. Hey, we actually could get that dude. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's take a look at the most recent and take off 50 from him and 50 from him. And then do the scouting on the two uh, non-scouted dudes. Right. Cool. He's exactly what we thought. Dang, he is fast. Is he a wide receiver? His oh, he's a running back. Dang, he is good. Definitely a quarterback or a defensive back. Man coverage, most likely a corner, but he could be got 90 throw power. I could have two two-way quarterbacks. I really like that. Okay, awesome. So we are going to hop in the game. This week, we are playing against the UAB Blazers. Taking a look at it, Lee Corso has us picked. Um, obviously, that means I'm probably going to lose the game. Um, but UAB has a returning quarterback. Uh, I'm going to go through their uh, players here in the edit roster. <clears throat> Let's go to UAB. With UAB, their top players are a punter, their left outside linebacker, Desmond Little. He's a big time run stopper. Um, Jacob Zeno, the 6'4 senior scrambler. He's gonna be running a lot, it looks like, against us. So we need to prepare for that with some spies. Um, they have a good cornerback, Mac McWilliams. I'm assuming he'll be on the right side, but we'll, we'll just have to tag him up and see um, who we can throw to there. Um, de great offensive line talent, decent running back. Um, yeah, just looks like an overall decent team. They've got like two, really two, two superstars, but I think we can definitely handle them. I like our odds. And then we have Joey Aguilar, who is not going to be playing. It's going to be David Justice. The starters for this are going to be David Joseph. And then we've got Mikel Haywood bringing in Amani Marshall. And I may switch in Kanye Roberts as the third string for Castle. I just, he's so fast and he'll be a great third down option. Which I can bring him in on third down anyways. I don't necessarily have to do formation subs. I'm actually not gonna mess with formation subs. Um, I will, however, uh, bring him in in the game as need be. All right, cool, so let's get this game going. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll do just the away jerseys. I'm fine with that. Okay. And then, yeah, just our regular home jerseys. We're coming in strong. Cool. I like it. Yep. The top players we looked at, ours are Caden Robinson, Christian Horn, and I think Mark Hughes. I don't really remember his first name. What up, Cod fam? How you doing, man? Thanks for hopping in. This looks like a pretty good matchup between the UAB Blazers and the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Hopefully we can beat them. Um, I expect us to, uh, but you know, this game can be wild at any time. Hi, what about high school? that the UAB Blazers choose tails and it is heads we are going to kick the ball receive in the second half I like defending this first one so I can see the our team matches up defensively the and off. then come out and Jones, take on their defense after stopping them with momentum and the kickoff the 2014 season is off the ground yeah, you can play uh, Road to Glory and stuff like that, but I, I prefer playing um, Dynasty mode. But I am going to do a Road to Glory and get... So there, it's, uh, I am going to do a Road to Glory with a player and like get that whole thing done and do the whole like high school player stuff and go through that process. That'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. I prefer yeah, dynasties because you can like build teams and just like kind of have a good time with that. But uh, but yeah, the road to glory is definitely fun. Okay, so kind of weird they're running so much, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. Um, is this your first time in the stream or with my content? There we go. Jordan Favors got a hit on him. Cool. Awesome. Is it this uh We'll be able to stop him. I guess if they're running, I should probably run the 425, but Awesome. Two yard stop there from Isaiah Jacobs. That's okay. Thanks for stopping by. We have fun here. Usually we I've got stuff going on on Twitch too, so I'm streaming both places. Um, so I'm gonna run a zone blitz here because I just feel like uh, them running the ball as much as they are, it'll be good to have uh, someone ready for the run, but also get pressure on the quarterback. Awesome. Dallas Payne with a nine yard reception. Um, Jacob Zeno obviously hasn't done a ton yet, but we need to try and make sure to stop them here. This is probably not super smart, but it's what I'm doing. Yes, stop him, okay. Big time. Jordan Favors. He was the leading tackler in the nation last year. I think he had 74 solo tackles. Um, and he was close on the interceptions. Uh, but our 
I think Ethan, I can't remember his last name, but he, one of our cornerbacks had the most interceptions in the nation. Big stop there on the first drive. Where are you from, uh, Todd? Friends, family is from Pittsburgh. I'm definitely going to try and get the ground game running going a little bit. Um, it helped us set up really good passing last season. Um, I should have followed that block. I didn't. I didn't follow the block. But he is a lot quicker, I think, than Nate Noel was last year. Um, Still gonna try and get the, the ground game going. They're not putting a ton of men on the on the front line, but David Joseph is super duper fast. Kinda wanna just go until they stop me on the run, honestly. Make them That tight end missed his block. Yes. So I'm using Kane and Hamlet. He's our third tight end as the fullback because he gets to go out on routes and I think he can actually handle running the ball a little bit to get those first downs. Big time grab there from the tight end. some play action um, I think it would uh, especially since they're they're putting a lot of people forward but uh, damn I knew that was gonna happen having a four-man front. Dude, our team cannot tackle to save their lives. They're so bad. That makes it third and three. Okay, here we go. They've been switching up formations because they've run, they've run like a four-two-five some, and then they've also run, uh, they have run some three-four. I want to I really want to get this run going with David Joseph because he's just so damn fast uh, the 
sound. I hate when it does that shit. There we go. Cade Robinson. Success there. I just don't know that, uh, yeah, see, they're running like a 4-2-5 here. Yes, get a field. Little four-yard run there. All right, end of the first, first quarter. I might need to lengthen the periods if I'm going to be running as much as I am. Uh, these are kind of some short quarters. What? No, that was complete. He caught that. I disagree. They're not gonna review that? Okay, weird. Dude, why is that, that corner? I guess it was in his area. Oh. What the hell was that defense doing? I guess it was too over the top. Oh well. I didn't predict Rondo, so that, that safety should have been going towards the boundary instead of the middle. That's okay. Slut post, my favorite play here. Bro, what? <sighs> I do not want to run this shit every single time, but I got to get... Something. I'll take that. Now I can start running a little bit of a normal offense. A little slut drive here. Like I did a practice game to like see make sure settings were good and like I was destroying them in my life. Oh, so close! Oh, 
I'll take that though. Mikel Haywood, he's been looking good. Yeah, I just, I don't have a great quarterback, so having, uh... Go, go! Yes, big run, let's go! Huge touchdown run from Mikel Haywood. He's just quicker man, zipping in and out. <laughs> Following those blocks, love to see it. We got a game on our hands, boys. Love it, love to see it. Love to see it. I like it. Hey, thank you. Big time touchdown there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the, the little celebrations. Okay, so I feel like they're 18. Hold up, give me a second. That might be my quarterback. There's my quarterback. Okay, so we're gonna at he can be our fifth corner and come in on special occasions. But to have him play to have him play quarterback and then come out and just not be tired there is kind of crazy. Get him, let's go! Take him down behind the line, alright. Got to get the train rolling a little bit, you know? I'll tell you what, though. Our tackling is atrocious. Jordan Favors that came over. Yep, Jordan Favors came over and got the tackle. Come on. I'm not getting the pressure I need on him. My offensive, sorry, my defensive line is not really good enough to like get the pressure on him and then. Woo, thought I had that interception there, baby. I didn't, but I thought I did. Yeah, I just don't want to definitely get got like I did on the last time. Get him. Yes, let's go. All right, third and six. I'd love to get the ball back again and try and score a touchdown. Tackle for a loss there. Controlled the, the linebacker. I believe that was linebacker. Harrington, yeah, he's the outside linebacker. Let's go. Woo. Love to see it. I would have liked to have been like in coverage there so I could get the interception, but big time stop there for the defense. And it stops the clock, which means I get the ball back. Got to get that crowd pumped. Ooh, fake. What? Okay, big balls, UAB. 
trying to trying to freak us out there. I would have been really sad if they had gotten that, but they did not. So. Obviously not necessarily the one the run we want, but it's a fun one. This quarterback is tragic. I don't like running Burtz every time, but... Hey, Ryan. How's it going? Appreciate you being here. Algorithm's going pretty good, so I appreciate it. Oh, I like that halfback circle play. I want, I want that back. Oh. Damn, I wanted that first down. It's scary. God, he's so fast. I am okay with that. I didn't love that. That's not what I like doing. I don't like rolling out with a quarterback like that, even though I ha he's a damn... Uh, even though he's a, like, scrambling quarterback, I don't love doing that. Sit down. He just got blocked. I wish my damn offensive lineman had gone and blocked. You know what I could have done? I could have brought a wide receiver over. But whatever. Joey Aguilar, okay. Touchdown, let's go. Looks like he's contributing and he didn't even know he would. Was uh, the starting quarterback hurt there? Maybe he was tired. So far, so good. They're gonna get the ball back, and uh, I uh, dislocated wrist. Interesting. That's not good. That sounds pretty painful, actually. I get the ball back at the half, which is big time. I can you up. I'm gonna put I'm annoyed that I have to put Joey Aguilar in but whatever it is what it is Second and one, he gets out of bounds. Tennessee comes on at 7 p.m. I'm gonna need you to change your channel when it comes on, according to the ticker at the bottom. Okay. I will do my best, Ryan. All right, does this actually? Okay. 
No fucking way. They're gonna get they're gonna get some some scores on here. That's crazy. Did they call timeout? They did call timeout. That's crazy. Oh, a screen. Oh. This is gross. They're going to get a damn field goal. They're going for it. I like it. No way. Ah! I hate it. He's nine for ten. This quarterback hadn't missed a dang throw. I'll try and ice him, see if that works. I wonder if you can ice him in the first half. Can you? He doesn't ice him. Dang. All right, decent half, I guess. Ooh, that was a bad return. Yeah, they burnt us long there. Now I this one is for Brandon. This one's for you, Brandon. If you're in here. Anytime I do that, they just stack the damn line. Which makes sense, because that's that what's available. But. Whoopsies! Yeah, big run! Dude, this running game's a lot of fun. So stupid. I knew he was sitting there. So dumb. They called that a touchdown? Oh, I should have done that. Whatever defense they're in is like tripping me out, man. I don't like it. They're just, they're scoring on stupid plays by me, which is kind of par for the course. That shit always happens for me. Oh, I just need to stick with the ground game, quit throwing stupid ass passes and go from there. Go, 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 yes. Also not surprising that Joey Aguilar throws a touchdown. That's all he does. I do not like him as a quarterback at all. I hate my quarterback situation. Damn it, Ben. Why did you have to? Oh, 
how I have to throw the ball. Running it there was not smart. Damn it. The way that they line up their defense on this, it makes it so hard to like actually run the ball like I want to. I'll take that though. Eight yards. Woo! I don't think this is going to fool anybody, but... He dropped the ball! Oh, I'm tired of these damn... Defensively, because they've kind of been smoking me a little bit. Bro, oh, my defensive player tackled him further afield. Come on, help. That brings him second and five. Oh, 
50 yard line. First, First down. down. What's up, Ben? How you doing? Somebody had to go to Tennessee. No freaking way. Dude, my defense is trash. Bro, this. Yeah, hopefully. But the problem is, I made all of these players too damn good, which means getting any of these players is going to be impossible. We'll see. I'm hoping I'm hoping I get some. This is unreal. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And my new starting quarterback got injured so any of the seasons, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. <laughs> Woo, sit down! That was a big hit. The annoying thing is this damn... Uh, I filled the gap, bro. I pulled, I pulled the linebacker there to fill that gap, and he did nothing. Oh, I have to do this shit with my backup quarterback. He's trash. Remember that time I was like, dude, UAB is going to be such an easy game. Oh, it's going to be such a good game. We're going to score a bunch and get on a good blah, 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 blah. What an idiot I am. That makes it 33. 
And my damn wide receivers are dropping the ball. He just got destroyed. Why does this game hate me? Oh, that was not who I meant to pass to, but I will take that. Literally, if he just gets out of the way. Yeah, I know that catch. It was nice, but it scared the hell out of me. Yes! Big time. This quarterback gives me anxiety. Now I have to play damn defense and I don't wanna! Luckily, I've got all my timeouts. They're gonna catch everything perfectly though, I feel like. <laughs> what a hit. Okay.
Don't you dare. Yes! Dude, I, I really hope they don't go for it. They've gone for it already. Oh, I really hope they don't go for it again. Come on, team. I want time here. They were trying to let clock run out. I want time. I need time. Let's get hype. Come on, boys. Oh, come on. Why is my team so bad? Sad. He was wide open. I'm not gonna try and like go yard here, but I am gonna try and score. I thought I fumbled the ball. I got so scared. I thought about throwing it there, but... A lot of rushing yards. I thought I was gonna get 100 yards from him. I know it's such like, a cheeky like oh they're icing me bye UAV see you later bye that's a cool screenshot Bye, UAB. No, get out of here, Joey Aguilar. You're garbage. Trash. Yes, with the win. Love to see it. God, Tennessee next week is going to be real tough. I will take the dub, though. We needed that. Dude, when I, when I played it previously, just like... As uh, I was, like, trying to see what was wrong with the practice stuff i started the game to like get some footage and check everything and i like smoked them and then this was like a really tough game hopefully my starting quarterback will be back and feeling better but that was great ggs good win
I actually I liked uh, the new running back. The new quarterback is questionable as well. We just don't have any good any good players right now. So. I'll check on the Tennessee scores for you. Uh, also, Ryan, we play Tennessee next week, so you got to turn tune in for that. I'll advance the week. God, I need a new quarterback. Okay, defensive coordinator leveled up. So, Brandon and LJ automatically committed to Alabama. We love that for us. That's really fucking lame. I, I made them too good. I messed that up. I made y'all too good. That's a bummer. Damn. That is a bummer. I hate that like automatic signing thing. Oh well. Oh well, boys. Oh well. Three of my top recruits signed with Alabama and Georgia. So definitely a good start there, boys. We'll try and get as many as we can here. Pretty good. Should stay. Let's see if I have. Let's take a look at the top recruits. Okay. I mean, we might can get. All right, Ben. You might. You might be in the coverage in the in the in the running there. I'm not getting any of these recruits, dude. I used to be really good at recruiting. I don't think I'm good at recruiting anymore. Thanks so much for watching week one against UAB today. Um, it was going to be exciting having David Joseph hop in for his first game of the season. Um, he was an athlete recruit that transitioned from cornerback to quarterback, and we decided to use him kind of in like a Michael Vick role so that he can kind of basically just run around the field and sling bombs to folks. But uh, unfortunately, he was injured, so we're going to have to wait and see how he does in the future uh, to see if he can help take our team to victory. Um, but all that being said, thank you so much for tuning in to the Appalachian State Dynasty. I'm excited to kind of show you guys the story of this season. Um, but if you enjoyed what you saw, please feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see more in the future, make sure to subscribe down below. Thank you so much. See ya!